What's going on guys? Today we're talking about the best cities to raise a family in in Florida. It's no surprise that everyone and their mom wants to move to Florida. Florida is such a diverse and popular area. I mean, besides for the warm weather and the beautiful beaches, you have just amazing people and amazing culture everywhere. But it can be kind of overwhelming. I mean, there's so many different areas to look at, so many different pockets of places as well. I mean, think about, you live in Miami. You have all the food you could possibly want, amazing boating, amazing nightlife, but do you want to raise a family there? And then the flip side, you have places like the Panhandle, which are more rural than the rest of Florida, but at the same time, beautiful weather, beautiful people. I mean, it's just kind of finding a nice balance of what's best for you and your family moving forward. So that's what I'm here to help you guys with. So at number three, we have Tallahassee. I know what you're thinking. Are you serious, Joe? A college town is number three. That's the best place to raise a family. Well, hold on, hear me out. So yes, Tallahassee is technically a college town because you do have Florida State University there and FAMU there, but it is also the capital of Florida. So that gives it a completely different side. So most of the people who go to Florida State and FAMU kind of stay on their side of the city. And then there's the capital and the business side of the city, which is completely different. So you will get a nice mix of young professionals along with a lot more mature professionals as well, being the capital of Florida. Plus there's so much that you don't even like kind of realize with the businesses there. I mean, it's still a city at the end of the day. It's not just a college town. Like when the kids leave for the summer, the school still goes, I mean, life still goes on, not school. So it's a lot different than one would think. It's perfect for people who want a small town feel, but they don't still want to kind of live in a city and still have some hustling and bustling going on, but nothing on a large scale. It's also really good for people who love the outdoors and nature. So just within maybe an hour, hour and a half tops, there's plenty of parks, springs and trails to go on and go out with your family. Plus one of the biggest things and the nicest things I think is if you do get a house there in Tallahassee, if you're a little bit outside the city, you get a ton of land. So it's not like living in the rest of Florida where everyone's stacked up on top of each other. Everything is a little bit more spread out, but you're also not too far from anything at the same time. I mean, if you want to get to Orlando, about four hours at max. Um, the beach is only an hour and a half away. So it's still a great place to raise your family. Um, overall, it does have a little bit of a college feel, but it's also classy because of the capital. In terms of the real estate market there in Tallahassee, the median sales price right now is $283,000. So it is the most affordable of the three cities that we're going to talk about today. And number two, we have Tampa. This is the hottest market in the entire state of Florida. Um, things are slowing down, so that's a good thing if you're looking to relocate there now. But people are moving there in droves, and that's just because of the quality of life that you do get there in Tampa. Yes, it is a big city, which is what I like the most, um, you have all the shopping, dining, entertainment, nightlife that you could really want. But at the same time, for being a big city, it doesn't really feel like that. I mean, once you get outside of the downtown area, which isn't gigantic by any means, you have pretty much a suburban feel um, and also not too far from downtown. I mean, you could live in an area like Seminole Heights, which is maybe 10 to 15 minutes from downtown. And there's a whole lot of money being dumped in the Seminole Heights, which is nice. I mean, you can get a very affordable house right now over there and then redo it, and you're also gaining a whole lot of equity in the meantime while everyone else is redoing their home as well. In terms of schools there, it's also great because you have two major universities being that of the University of South Florida as well as the University of Tampa. So you get a nice mix of both worlds. But I think the best thing about living in Tampa is if you're a sports fan. They have every major sport except basketball. So they do have for NHL, the Tampa Bay Lightning. For baseball, they have the Tampa Bay Rays, and for football, they have the Tampa Bay Bucks, as well as all of USF's collegiate sports as well. So this is really for the sporty family. I think that's the best fit for them, um, as well as things like boating and going to the beach, which is also not too far at all either, um, and very viable, especially if you love fishing. Great fishing in the Tampa area. In terms of the real estate market in Tampa, the median list price right now is 430000 so a little bit more expensive than Tallahassee, but also nothing outrageous. Yes, you do have some of those houses that go into the tens of millions of dollars, but it really just depends on where you live. And there's also great areas to live in a little bit further from downtown. Um, and those are a lot more affordable as well. Obviously, the closer you are to downtown, the more expensive it gets. And the number one best place to raise a family in Florida is Sarasota. And I know what you're thinking, Joe, isn't Sarasota just a bunch of retirees? Well, in reality, it's actually not, which is surprising. There's a nice mix of young professionals all the way up to retirees just like any other area. But the best thing about living in Sarasota to raise a family is they have the highest rated public school system in the entire state. So that education that your children will be getting from K through 12 is invaluable. I mean, that's just gonna be setting them up for life and having them develop the skills and the habits that they need to be successful in life. 
Um, another great thing about living in Sarasota is it's a lot more laid back atmosphere than that of Tampa. I mean, you get to reap all the benefits of Tampa being right there next to it while not having to live there at the same time. You're only about an hour away, maybe hour and a half. So you get all those benefits, but then you get to come back and just go at your own pace. It's not just always quickly. I mean, Tampa's not a real hustle and bustle city, but at the same time, it's still a major city and some people don't like that, especially to raise a family. Um, another huge thing for Sarasota is they do have what is rated as the best beach in Florida, and that's Siesta Key Beach. It's beautiful. The only downside to that is now you're gonna have a ton of tourists over there. So you'll have to find the pocket beaches and like the little secret spots, which we'll get into in another video. But overall, living in Sarasota is very, very good for raising a family. In terms of real estate in Sarasota, it is the most expensive of all three cities that we looked at and with a median sales price of 585,000. That's not to say that you can't find some that are more affordable, but for the most part, there are a lot of resort style communities. That's why that median price is a little bit higher. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home anywhere here in the state of Florida, or you just have some questions about where to raise a family or just Florida life in general, don't hesitate to reach out. Email us at joe at theveragroup.com or give me a call or shoot us a text 954-830-1126.